Hello guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. This time some 3 amazing plugins for photographers. So please like and subscribe to the channel. The first plugin on the list is Red Giant No Light. This plugin contains different light sources that you can overlay on your images or photos. These light sources can be sunlight, car light, etc. Let's try adding some lights to these images. Okay, duplicate your image now. Go to filter, then red giant software, then no light. So this is the program interface. On the left side, are the various light preset you can select or add to your images. On the right are the elements of lights selected and below are the various settings. For the light selected, like the brightness, color etc. Let's try placing some lights on our image. You can click to add light on the area you desire, and also add different elements of lights on an image. You can control the brightness of the light or even change the color of the light, If everything seems okay to you, just hit the OK button. Let's try another images and different light elements. Okay, let's try adding some sunshine on this images. As usual, duplicate your image and access the plugin on the filter menu. Try selecting different lights and keep adjusting the position, brightness and colors till it's sweet you then you hit on the OK button to accept the change. The second plugin for photographers is Alien Skin Exposure X6. This is an ultimate software to help artists or photographers to up their game in retouching and color grading their photos easily. The software has tons of presets for color correction and grading, overlays, light effects and retouching panel it also uses layers, enabling you to work non-destructive. Let's dive into the software you We're using this image so duplicate your image, go to your filter menu, then exposure software, then select exposure x6 again. This software has all presets found on the left side and various settings found on the right. You can experiment on different presets to sweep you, and can also try adjusting the settings if preset is too much on your photo. Let's try some preset.
you can add texture, light overlays etc on your images, you can try different setting sliders to see which color is perfect for you if everything seems okay to you, you can save all that settings as favorite or preset. To make it easily accessible in case you want to apply to many images or different images let's save some preset, when saved, you can access the preset on the left interface easily, when everything seems good, just hit on apply button let's try reapplying these preset on another image. Other image it seems cool on this image, if not so we can adjust the settings to make look good. Lastly, is Nick Collection 3 software. This software has been talked about in my previous videos. If you haven't checked just click here. Color FX Pro from Nick Collection has great tons of color graded presets. With this software, you can easily create and manage your own color grading presets. By just combining different presets from the software or starting from the scratch. Let's just dive into the software using this image. Also this software is non-destructive. Our filter library found on the top left contains category of filters and adjustments. We have film preset, wedding and even portrait. Every effect selected can also be adjusted from the right side of the software panel. Let's try adding presets. Below the filter library, is the recipe library, which also contains already made color graded presets, for just easily applying to your photo. Let's try some presets from the recipe library. You can still stack effect, from the filter library onto your recipe, you can reduce the preset opacity if it's too much. If the recipe seems very cool to you, you can save as a recipe too, and reapplying anytime on your images. So we'll fast try some few recipe and effect to see the final results. Try your hands on these plugins. Thanks for staying here. See you in my next video. Peace.